Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In this session, we'll be looking at the fair value price list setup. Uh, that is uh, another uh, prerequisite for revenue recognition. So let's begin. So as we all know that fair value is the estimated price at which a product is bought or sold when both the buyer and the seller freely agrees on a price. So in NetSuite application, fair value uh, price is used to allocate the revenue in revenue arrangements. The fair value price list enables us to create different fair value rules for different items and uh, different item revenue categories. And its basic setup includes uh, adding fair value formulas, then adding fair value dimensions, and then we can create the uh, fair value price list after setting up all these things. So this is about the basic setup. So in the NetSuite application, uh, for creating a fair value price list, uh, we have to first uh, define the item revenue category. So what is item revenue category? It is a classification for items that have similar characteristics and revenue allocation requirements. And we can select an item revenue category when we are setting up a fair value price list instead of selecting individual items. So when we are uh, uh, having uh, and we want uh, uh, some uh, two or more, uh, two or three or four items and we want to put it into a single category. So we can do it uh, by taking the help of item revenue category. So for that, we can go into setup accounting. Here we have the option of item revenue category. So you can see that these two categories have been created. If we want to uh, create a new category, we can click on it. So here we have to provide a distinct name to it. Let's take revenue category 03. If any description is required to be provided, so we can provide it. Then item options, how many items do we want to keep in under this category? So we can mention those item number here. This fair value of formula, we can uh, set a fair value formula uh, for this item revenue category. So I am taking here this one. This fair value range uh, checking policy is like here. Uh, we have to select a value as a default for fair value price records that are created for this item revenue category and for items that are included in this category here we have to define certain ranges so for that we have these options boundary fair value high and low so if, we, if the discounted sales amount is between the high and the low value of the range so it is used as the calculated fair value amount so if it is a uh, it is about the boundary so if we take this fair value so if the uh, sales amount is outside the range, the base uh, fair value is used as the discounted, uh, is the, uh, sorry, is used as the calculated fair value amount. Similar thing we can uh, use with high and low, uh, means we can take high and low. Uh, if the discounted sales amount is inside the range, either a high or a low value, uh, whichever is uh, closer to the discounted sales, we can uh, select uh, these uh, from high and low here. So in this way, we can define the uh, fair value range uh, checking policy. So I am taking here this fair value option. Now I will click on save. So you can see now the third category has been added and it is using this formula, the range policy that we have defined is fair value. So we are done with the item revenue category. Now we'll be looking at uh, how can we set the fair value formula. So for that, we'll go into setup accounting. Here we have the option of fair value formulas. So it contains very few information. It has internal ID name, uh, fair value formula. So we can click on new option. Here we have to define the name. When uh, we can provide a description, uh, we do not want to make this inactive. So under the fair value formula, if we can click on this box. Here we have to define the field function so that the formula could be populated. So I'm taking here this base fair value. And under the functions, we have options of absolute uh, group sum and all. So if we want to select it, so we can select the functions here. I am taking only field here and I will click on set. Now the formula has been set up. I will click on save. So you can see that formula uh, hash, uh, sorry, form formula underscore zero five has been uh, saved. It is not active. It is the active one. 
now after setting up the fair value formula we have to set the fair value dimensions so what are fair value dimensions these are all the fields that we add to our uh, fair value price records again for that we'll go into setup accounting here we have the option of fair value dimensions you can see that these are all the fields that are already appearing on my uh, fair value price list if we want to add some more options or some more fields so we can uh, use uh, this drop down and we can add them accounting book uh, subsidiary main customer line these are all already appearing so these are all the fields that are appearing on our uh, fair value price list so we have seen how uh, the fair value dimensions and fair value formulas have been set we have also seen how the item revenue category can be created now comes uh, to our uh, today's concern that is how can we set the fair value price list so for that we'll go into setup accounting under the revenue sub tab we have this option fair value price list we'll click on it so these are the uh, three fair value price lists that have been created we'll click on new in order to create a new one here we have to uh, select uh, an item for this fair value price list we can define an item here i am taking this one and uh, we can leave this item field blank if we want to so if we are taking any of the item revenue category here so you can see that now the uh, fields of uh, low and high value are uh, available for uh, providing the values if we are not uh, selecting any category so we will not be able to provide any range for high and low values so for providing any range we have to select an item revenue category here then this uh, base fair value here we have to enter a base fair value for a unit of items and this value is used in fair value range checking policy so here i am mentioning this uh, base fair value we can also define the currency here subsidiary accounting book source type all these are the uh, uh, fields now if we move here for the fair value uh, range checking policy so this option has a uh, populated here for followed by the revenue category that we have selected so if we select any other category if i select three uh, this uh, revenue category th three here so the range checking policy has been changed accordingly this is about the unit of measures now we have to provide as we have selected a range uh, some range here so we have to mention a low value percent and high value percent so i am mentioning here 40% so 4000 has been appearing now for high value percent uh, also i have to mention certain uh, percentage so i am taking here this 150 now the high value has been arrived if it uh, we want to include this fair value price list as under the vsoe so we can check this box the default fair value formula these are the three formulas that have been appearing so i am taking this one that i have created this start date is like uh this is the date that this fair value price would become effective uh, we can provide a date uh, so that uh, this uh, price fair, uh, sorry fair value price list become effective if we do not want so we can leave this field blank here this is not the mandatory one and you can see these are all the dimensions that we have set under the fair value dimensions and after providing all these information we can click on save now you can see that this is the one uh, price list that we have created its currency is gbp the fair, base fair value for it is 10000 the revenue category that i have selected is 3 the item that i have taken is adsl to modem router so whenever any sales order or invoices uh, would be transacted uh, this base fair value would be used uh, followed by the range checking policy that is fair value here and it has also certain low values and high values percentage i have defined so in this way this uh, fair value price list can be set up so that's all about the topic in case of any doubts and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you